What's going on, Button Mashers? I'm Mr. Gamer. And I'm Kenny Duvall. And welcome to episode 26 of SBR Reports. Nintendo goes dark. <laughs> but let's get back to our let's get to our first story. Um, this was on um, GameSpot.com. Apparently, Twitch spent about ninety million dollars on exclusive broadcast rights for the Overwatch League for at least the next two seasons. I mean, at at this point, I'm not surprised with Twitch being the most popular place to live stream. Of course, they're going to want all, like, only, it's only happening here. It's only happening here. You have to go here. I mean, just think about how much money was put into things like the Super Bowl. And just to get, like, 30 seconds on there is who knows how many millions of dollars. So, no, personally, when I saw this, I was like, why would they do that? That's so silly. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, esports is like a thing taken seriously now. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, people have realized, oh, wow, there are gamers who are spending a lot of money and a lot of time. Just bring in that ad revenue, guys. Come on, let's go. Like, come on. It's a it, football. That, that's that's what right, it's called the coach. I'm, that's what gaming is now. I mean, e- that is esports to me. I am literally going to zone out now. <laughs> well, I mean, let's not. OK, the fact that. Well, OK, it's Overwatch. Uh huh. It's not like. Call of Duty or something like that. So it's at least higher quality entertainment that I would rather that that I, that I would watch. You're talking to someone who falls asleep watching you play Overwatch and Destiny and everything else in between. Okay, well, <laughs> but anyway, the number comes by of way from sports business. I hate the way that sentence is structured from Sports <laughs> Business Daily. Was also reported that this likely makes the deal the biggest in esports history. You know what? Yeah, and honestly, it ain't going anywhere. It it really isn't. Now, unfortunately, another thing that hasn't gone anywhere is Pokemon Go. What? Well, but it's going to be leaving something. <laughs> it's going to be leaving iPhones that do not support iOS eleven. Now, unfortunately, one of the things that people real, um, some people have realized with their iPhones is something called, um, uh, ba- basically how your phone becomes obsolete on purpose. Planned obsolescence. There we go. Planned obsolescence where, you know, you get the iPhone 5 and you realize that it can't get the latest update, but the iPhone 7 can. So they automatically make whatever device you have obsolete. Well, unfortunately, some of the iPhone models like the iPhone 5 and 5C don't support iOS 11 and Niantic will not be supporting those devices that can't go to the latest version of iOS. And here's something else that they don't mention. It's not just that it can't use iOS 11. A lot of people were using hack tools that you can use still on those older model phones. Ah, uh, yes. So, you know, to, you know, w- have the person walk for how many ever kilometers and then, you know, hatching eggs automatically or, you know, getting yourself into raids when you don't actually have raid passes, you know, so things like this, that. Is this another example of ha- hackers ruining for people who don't feel like upgrading their phones? Well, I would say, I would say that's only part of it. I would say the other part of that is that they have to they the 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 code that they're making the game it has to keep up with what apple is putting out true and if they are writing code that works for ios 11 well that just means that something can't be compatible for previous versions it's similar to why certain computer programs will work on windows 7 and windows 10 but if you try to run it on xp something much older we don't talk about this stuff. <laughs> or XP, it just won't work. Like, so there is part of it. I'm not going to say it's completely the hackers. I don't think they'll mention the hackers because why would you do that? But I will definitely say that it's more so the code that they're writing for updates on the game just won't be compatible with all of the operating systems that the older iPhones will support. Luckily enough, that's not a problem for us. I- Android users. What? I'm happy about that. I'm glad I left that cult. 
But don't speak- say that too loud, cause uh, I don't need the uh, Apple teenies coming for you. That's what I call Apple users occasionally. But because yeah. I'm clever. Because you are clever. You know who else is clever? Oh, Nintendo. Their first Nintendo Direct of the year has come out. And boy, oh boy, for a mini one, it was pretty fun. I have to, I mean. I have so many questions, though. I have so many questions, too, that I know I'm not going to get answers because Nintendo just has not been giving me answers when I want them. But the. No, the, instead, they've been giving you games. Well, yes, but with those games, I have questions. <laughs> But anyway, so let me just tell you what you what you really do need to know. First video game that they talked about was one of my favorite video games on the uh, DS system. Not 3DS. The original DS system, The World Ends With You. Wait, didn't I meet you when you were playing that game? Yes. Wow, that is an old game. I can't tell you how many times I've scratched up my bottom touch screen Trying to like awkwardly get Neku to like, okay, come on, slash, 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 slash. I met my best friend in college and he was a nerd then and nothing's changed. I mean, I would like to say I've gotten, I've gotten, you know. You got in the beard. Well, thanks. (laughs) You're welcome. (laughs) Anyway, that was the first game that they mentioned. My, when I first saw it, obviously I had to pause because, you know, catch my breath, but it was interesting. The original game had dual screens, so now it seems as if you're going to be, now both of your partners are going to be on one screen together. They also say that you can use the Joy-Cons with it as well. Now, obviously, they didn't go into too much detail with that, but... Because it's probably going to have its own thing eventually. But what it doesn't have, what which is what the 3DS has, now, the Switch has a touchscreen, but it doesn't have a stylus. True. And the one thing that I needed in The World Ends With You was a stylus. I don't know what we're going to be doing with the Joy-Cons, but I can't imagine, unless I'm swiping and slashing as if I was playing, like, Legend of Zelda or, like, like that, but I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little skeptical. I'm still getting the game. Um, they also introduced this, uh, new story with, obviously, that's all we're going to know. Um, we will link to the Nintendo Direct Mini on our site. Um, Next thing that they showed was DLC for Wave, uh, Wave 1 and 2 DLC for a Pokémon tournament. Um, it introduces, um, two new battle characters and two new support characters. Angus Slash! Aegis Slash, Mega Rayquaza. Woo. Um, we have Blast Toys. And Mew as a support character. Meow. Um, I guess, well, I actually just got Pokemon Tournament, so... I mean, I don't play, but anything with Mew in it makes me happy. Well, I mean, I'm... I Plus the Demon Sword makes me happy. <laughs> I will say, and people are going to say, oh, well, you always say that, Mike. You just love Nintendo. But considering the fact that Pokemon Tournament DX already has the DLC from the previous games, and then they're just giving us more on top of that? Um, i so, to be fair, I don't remember if this was paid, this new DLC is paid or not. It is. Okay. So, yeah. So, yeah, you can pay to get these. So, you already have the old stuff, but now they're giving you some new stuff that you can get. Now, which is typical in the gaming world nowadays. And I will still be critical of Nintendo because depending on the patches that are going to have to come out when, the, when these characters come out, you may have some really broken characters. Because people may just get... Because, I mean, uh, people were talking about um, $5.99 is OP when Cloud and Bayonetta came out for Pokemon Smash... For um, Pokemon... For Smash Brothers. And, you know, though people are disrespecting the Bayo, don't disrespect the Bayo. P- Cloud is a very, uh, very well-used character in Super Smash Brothers Tournament. So, I'm... Um, I'm skeptical about it, but I'm not going to throw the, I'm not going to throw the book. I'm not going to throw the hammer at Nintendo with that one. I N- mean, yeah, it's Pokemon. A lot of people kind of play it. Yeah. The next thing that they showed was the, <laughs> the thing that makes me so happy because Kirby is adorable. Yes, Kirby. I, I realize that this is in the, this is in the cute realm and cute realm is all Miss Duval. Um, but Kirby Star Allies um, will be coming with new copy abilities. 
And with new copy abilities, they also incorporated combination abilities. Now, this isn't like um, Squeak Squad, where you would take two abilities that you absorbed and mix them together. You actually cooperate with your partners and combined, you can use your skills together. Um, in the direct, they were talking about using water and ice and making lances, combining uh, yo-yo and electricity, you know, things like that. And that's I gotta it's, say, it's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be very, very. Like, look at this! Look at this! It's it's going to be cute. I am I'm I'm looking forward to that. Um, I don't know if I will be playing it, but I am looking forward to it. That does look like a nice game. You know, going to be coming to us March sixteenth. I I'm I'm there already giving us something good for this year. Though one thing I will say though, Nintendo has been planning this all along. What I don't want them to do, there is no reason to have any more artificial scarcity, Nintendo. People already want the, your Switch. People are going to want your Switch a whole lot more by the end of this podcast when we tell you the other thing that they're bringing, but stay tuned. Also, keep in mind that there are also two demos available. There is Kirby Kirby's Battle Royale and also Dragon Quest Builders, which I'm going to say... Um, my skepticism eyebrow is through the ceiling here. Dragon Quest seems to be getting the sword of the stick. I mean, and not the best way. No, not at all. I'm not too. I'm not too fond with that one. Though the next game that they showed, I, I realized I don't have enough hours in the day for this. I just don't. But. There is the definite, definitive edition of Hyrule Warriors coming to the Nintendo Switch. It includes every DLC, every character from the 3DS and the Nintendo, the Wii U version. I, I, mm, I don't have, I would, I don't, I don't have enough time. You don't. I don't have enough time. You really don't. Though I want it so bad. I mean, you're still going to get it. I'm, I see it right now. And everybody that knows you knows you're lying. I'm it's just... literally going to be, hey, Kitty Duvall, remember how I said I didn't have enough time? You got the game. I got the game. Yeah. Like, it, I, I, mm, it's, and it, it's everything. It's everything. I mean, the game, you, this game is probably going to take me about a month to attempt to complete. Like, and, and, and completing it is 100% completion. I, I, I don't know if, I mean, I, mm, you, you have this would be something good to stream. <laughs> See, you're already making excuses on why you would get it. I totally am. Anyway, all right. Next up is, I mean, get to play with Linkle. You know what? I was, I still want Linkle to have her own game. That'd be nice. Right now, she's pulling a Daisy. Well, Daisy is the superior one. We, we know. But this. Daisy doesn't have her own game. Daisy doesn't need her own game. The point is, is that this, she's in. She's still a little bit salty about every single Mario Kart race that we've had. You know, just. Trick doesn't got her own game. Just saying. But you're right. You are correct. She does not have her own game, and I want her to have her own game. Daisy or Winkle? Yes. <laughs> yes. I I would I would play something. Miss. I would play something on the Switch. Spe Super Princess Daisy. Speaking of Daisy and all the Mario crew, they are getting athletic, and by getting athletic, we actually have ourselves a proper sports game. On the Nintendo Switch, um, like a Mario based one. I mean, we had Golf Story and things like that, but it wasn't, it wasn't Mario. Well, at least it's not like Mario Basketball. That game was actually really bad. Wait, there was a Mario Basketball? Oh, yeah, there was a Mario 3 on 3 Basketball. That's upsetting. Anyway, <laughs> this one is tennis. This one is, and he actually, he's not just in his plumber gear, you know, with a racket. He actually looks like a, an athlete. He looks a whole lot better than he is every single time him and Mario went to the Olympics. But him and Sonic went to the Olympics. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> but I'm it, it it actually incorporates a story mode which we didn't get since Power Tour back on the GBA. Jeez. So that goes way back. Now I'm probably gonna try to 
I don't know, maybe I'll get this one used. Like, all the things that they're introducing for the Switch aren't all new. Not all of them. Um, You know, we got to go to the Nindies for something like that. But as far as, you know, Nintendo titles, I'm... I'm 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 with you. I'm liking it. I I really am. I'm just not gonna play Mario Tennis. None of the Mario Sports games have ever caught my interest. Well, yeah, I I, I can see that. Uh, I mean, can't win them all. Now, the next thing that they introduced was uh, I need to make sure I'm pronouncing this correctly. Yes, three. Now, this is, now, I believe that our friends over at Rushdown Radio would probably do a better job of explaining the JRPGs than I do, because I think the only YS, yes, game I've owned was on the PSP. So, unfortunately, I have very limited knowledge on, on this, but looks nice. Anime cutscenes. Yeah. That's all you really need to know. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it looks... It, People's it, hair matches their eyebrows. That's something that used to irritate me with anime, not gonna lie. Yeah, I wonder if the carpet matches the drapes. Your mother listens to this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Whoops. Well, anyway, um, the next thing that the Nintendo Mini showed us was... Okay, I gotta say, this is useless fluff. So there's a balloon world addition in Super Mario Odyssey, where essentially you go to a world, you hide a balloon, and then someone else finds it. Doesn't add anything to the story. It shows Luigi, but not in the way that people want, where you actually play as Luigi, which you have been able to do in a lot of the other previous Super Mario Galaxy-esque games. So this is kind of a cheap way to throw Luigi in there. I don't see the point in adding this. Unless it gives you moons, which it doesn't, I'm like, uh, okay. Have you even finished collecting all the moves? Yes. Huh. It wasn't easy. Took a lot of coins, but yes. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm sorry, Nintendo. I'm not feeling this one. This is like, I and uh, I mean, there's Snapchat filters. Yeah, for those snapshots, because people are going to be making screenshots. I really feel like this is more for uh party games and things like that. Well, Super Mario Odyssey just isn't a party game. Look, you like, underestimate the power of drunk people. But... You I, underestimate I, I, I get. People. I guess. I mean, we got three new outfits. We got Sunset, Sunshine Shades outfit, which is from Super Mario Sunshine. M- musician hat and outfit, so now he looks like the musicians with Paulina. That looks like just a gray and yeah, they, red they, version of the of, of the, the tuxedo of the tuxedo. Yeah, like no, yeah, of, a, of him. But like, that knighted helmet and armor. Yes, because you need to look like that when you kill Bowser's cousin. Man, I'm gonna wear. I would wear that just to kill that mofo again. Oh my goodness, that was just too much. I was mad. Now, I, <laughs> I gotta say that, arguably. The well, the last thing that you should even really know about the uh, the Nintendo Mini, which is kind of leads into my summation of it, was a so they are introducing Tropical Freeze onto the Nintendo Switch, and I'm sorry, woo, back up, woo, rewind. Before that, we have DLC to Super Mario to uh, Mario Plus Rabbids. Mario Plus Rabbids obviously won uh, best strategy game, which is good. Uh, it deserved it. Very good game. Uh, I unless DK, which is their uh, addition in the DLC as a playable character, unless he can be played into the story, I don't really see the point. Like un- because unless you can use this character for the challenges, which some people have already completed, what's the point? Does he have his own? Does he have his own world or something like that? Okay, maybe that that's give me a little bit more. But like just for a character in a strategy game. Um, no, not, not really feeling that. That's gonna have to be a no for me, Nintendo. And, uh, I think that's actually a better lead up into this. What I've noticed from Nintendo is they are either remaking, remastering, redoing, combining, making special editions of a lot of their older material. Mm-hmm. Now, it could be said that, A, they should have been doing this a long time ago. 
because Sony and Microsoft have been doing it for years and look how much money they're making. But it doesn't put the best taste in my mouth because when am I going to get something new? Like, I don't look for Microsoft and Sony for something new anymore. I, I just don't. They, they haven't given me anything new. Um, but if I'm just going to be essentially, like, for example, let's just say they add four, mail, four more DLC packs to Rabbids. Um, and then they make a new system in three years. Should I not even bother with Super with Mario plus Rabbids because they're going to be making a Mario plus Rabbids, you know, rabies edition with all the DLC? That's so well, weird obviously, title. yes, that's not that's not going to be the title, but <laughs> but you see my point. It's like, I mean, I can go off and say maybe you're thinking too hard about this because the same can be said for each and every company. Just because you're used to one company doing it doesn't mean you have to suddenly demand another company not do it. Well, it's it's not that I don't want them to do it. I just don't want this to be the norm. For, it kind of already is the norm. I, you didn't let me finish. For Nintendo. Ah. That's not the norm for Nintendo. And I don't want it to be that way. Now, obviously, there will be things that I will be purchasing because of this. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition is one of them. It's just, I'm not too... I don't know. I mean, it's like, I like it. I'm sorry. I don't like it, but I'll deal because it's not all they're doing. I mean, the year also just started. True. And they did come out with a couple of good games last year. They did. I am... And the year has just started. So... I don't think you should put your hyper cynical glasses on just yet. They're they're hard to take off. Okay, so I'm gonna have to ask you to turn your sass down. Sorry. <laughs> and like, you know, untent the cynical just a tiny bit. I'm just I'm just, just a I, tiny I'm tiny bit. Just color me concerned is all. I I'm I'm I want this. I want this to, I want, I want this year for Nintendo to be better than the last. Not like I don't care about Sony and Microsoft. I really don't care about Microsoft. I maybe care about Sony, but Nintendo's been doing well with this system. But the one thing. I mean, we're getting waifus. Oh, you know, you know, you know what? You can have waifus because Nintendo will take your waifus because coming to the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> oh, Matt, you did that. Yeah, that was clever, wasn't it? No. Yes, it was. You loved it. <laughs> Nintendo is bringing Dark Souls Remastered to the Nintendo Switch. So if you needed a reason to possibly break it, well, you have one because nothing's like getting a game over on the bus, at work, or just somewhere. Oh, Lord. Like Your office is going to be messed up. <laughs> Oh, now what concerns me though? Oh man, we used to Snapchat that. No, no, we shouldn't. (laughs) What concerns me though is how well this game's going to run. Well, I mean, but I'm obviously we don't have any of those details. But and it's not my cynicalness. I'm just forward thinking, you know, about about how this game is going to run because. I mean, Skyrim you, doesn't look didn't look bad on it. No, it didn't. But I also know that there's you you do significantly more in Dark Souls. Like you have dodging, and there are, are a lot of other textures that can come at you. I'm sorry, I just don't play games. I know I suck at so. But you play Mario Kart. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Your mother listens to this. I know. Your mother listens. No, I'm telling myself that. <laughs> okay. But that was that was she the might Nintendo. I have to visit you in the hospital. Oh dear. <laughs> well, that was the Nintendo Direct Mini. I'm I'm looking forward to it. I think that we're gonna have a really good year. It's gonna be uh we're gonna have the link to this over on our website so you can give it you could check that out. Hey, in the comments section down below, which I will make sure that you can absolutely do on our website because for some reason it's just not working. Let us know what you liked about the Nintendo Direct. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, and all that other stuff. Shameless plug, shameless plug, shameless plug. Um, But with that being said, I'm Mr. Gamer. And I'm Kitty Laval. Signing off.